Radford. Over his own head, Adrian Kennedy is willing to run, but Peel again is there, making life difficult for the big Arsenal number 10. But in comes McNabb now. Kennedy, a low cross. Oh, and Radford's almost there. Maybe Charlie George will know. Martin Peters there, just in time for Tottenham. Lifted away, but only as far as Kelly, and the closest we've had to a goal yet. So Radford did a lot of good work in there, but it was Charlie George who very nearly managed to uh, get there when it really mattered. Gilsey to Chivers. And now Evans. McGrath on the far side, it'll be McGrath, or oh, Peters maybe! Oh, a tremendous header there by Peters! And very well saved by uh, Bob Wilson. But that really is why Peters gets that name, the ghost, because he ghosted him behind the whole of that Arsenal defence. They just didn't know he was there. Chivers. Played wide, Matt letting it go for Evans. Good crosser of the ball, Ray Evans. And that's nicely for Gilzean. And Chivers on the far side. And a great save again by Wilson. Well, it's Spurs who are making the breaks that look most promising at the moment. They've won another corner. It's a couple of times they've nearly got in on the far post. Knowles with his corner. Charlie George not getting it away. And Peters will struggle to keep it in. The whole of the ball not over the line. And Simpson coolly to Charlie George. Now it's Brady. Rice. Radford. And now Kelly. Play towards Kennedy and Charlie George going in. That was some good tackling back by Martin Peters. George really went hustling in there. But I think that was another very good example. We've seen a lot of good attacking work by uh, Martin Peters. Here's Charlie George. But Peters really did a magnificent job to get back so quickly and uh, challenge Charlie George. And now it's Knowles for Tottenham. Brady. McNabb. Kennedy winning it well in the air and gives Radford just this glimpse of an opening. And the ball was bouncing nastily there right in front of Barry Danes, getting a pat of encouragement from uh, Phil Beale because that could have been such an embarrassing moment for him from Radford. But with his body behind it, at least he managed just to poke it round the corner. Good searching, interesting ball there, which if it had fallen just a little bit shorter, might well have gone well for Gilzean, but instead it's Wilson. And Radford caught a good eight yards offside. Another example of this offside trap that is, in fact, making the game go in fits and starts. Knowles for the kick. Towards Chivers. Now Peters. Good shot there by Peters. And what a good save again by Bob Wilson. Peters really in sparkling form this afternoon. But so too is Bob Wilson. Three really magnificent saves by him so far this afternoon. Gills in with the head. Chivers is there too. And another shot well saved from Pratt by Wilson. Kennedy, McNabb, Charlie George. England is there, so is Brady for Arsenal. McNabb again making the running, but Pratt coming away for Tottenham. Only Gilzean is up. There's McGrath, though, with him. Gilzean and McGrath playing a nice one, too. Now, can the youngster get his cross in? 
a little further back than uh, Spurs would have wanted it. Chivers now on the ball for them. Perryman. Chivers. Charlie George. Armstrong. Kennedy. Kelly. Gilzean, red back, beautiful. And now Chivers. Arsenal doubling back as quickly as they can. Still Chivers. And now Gilzean, blasting that one against McNabb. And Simpson by now is across, and Spurs get a corner. What a lovely bit of reading of the game, though, by Gilzean. He was a step ahead of Arsenal and put Chivers on his way. So Chivers at the near post. Knowles with the corner. Deep towards McGrath, who just got his hit to it. Gilzean with the overhead, and a little too high for Tottenham. So Bob Wilson under pressure there from the likes of Alan Gilzean and Martin Chivers. Armstrong, Peters, and Chivers. That's the strength of the man. That was an unfair challenge by Storey from behind. When the strength of Chivers had taken him past the first challenge, Storey looking inquiringly at the referee, but clearly had to be pulled back for that. Giving Spurs a free kick. Now it's with Evans. Will he let one fly? Oh, and another good save by Wilson. While well, Philip Beale came forward claiming offside, bound to say that he was the only Spurs defender who did come forward, and I thought that Ray Evans on the far side had played Arsenal onside, but the linesman disagreed, gives the free kick to Tottenham, and Knowles is taking it. Chivers and Storey having a tremendous scuffle there, and Gilzean has done it! Gilzean has done it! So Bob Wilson is beaten at last, the long kick helped on, and Gilzean just nudging it past Wilson. And that makes the score. Spurs 1, Arsenal 0, eight minutes to go, and it's Alan Gilzean's first league goal of the season. Arsenal a great side for bouncing back quickly. And Batson now leading the charge for them. And there's Charlie George, but he's lacking a bit of pace. Still kept it in, though. Kelly, the cross towards Kennedy and Rice. Still in play. Kennedy to Rice. Crossed once more towards Charlie George. And Kelly up on the far side, turned in again. And Peters, who has had a splendid game, Right back there, the last man for Tottenham, getting it away. Well, that's the form that England want to see from Martin Peters on uh, Wednesday at Wembley against the Poles. Really has had a magnificent game. Kelly's, or Kennedy rather, Simpson in there, Charlie George in there. McGrath can't really get it away. Batson hoping to blast it in. Brady, only story is back. Knowles, I think, got a knock on the face there. And Arsenal now really piling back at Spurs. Kelly in, and Peters once more away. England's boot, Storey's head. And away goes Spurs again for Chivers. It's two against two, and Chivers is on his way. McGrath, Gilzean right in there too. The cross there, not a particularly good one. Pratt, Gilzean, and Kelly now. Well, at least we've got a rousing finish. Armstrong. Brady. Kennedy. Armstrong again.
A very great game this fella's had, Martin Peters. And away goes Gilzean again. Rice pounding there with him. Tottenham's throw. Big Chivers will come across to take it. Gilzean at the near post. Aim towards Marty Peters, a backheader by him. McGrath and overhead, and that very nearly went for the youngster there. Pratt. Crossed again, Simpson is there for Arsenal. And McNabb. But there's McGrath. Perriver. Gilzean. Peters. Pratt. Here comes the cross for Chivers, and Rice was there instead. McGrath to Pratt. McGrath again. And Chivers racing for this one. Once he gets into his stride, there really is nobody who can outstrip him. Peters. Chivers again. Giving Peters that yard or so to put the cross in, but he leaves it instead for Perryman. Oh, what a collision there. I think Steve Perryman not only dummied Armstrong, he dummied himself. But it's obstruction. It's a free kick, and it's Knowles who's going to take it. Mike England has come up with his arm waving on the far side. It won't get to him. Oh, but it is for Chivers. 2-0. Martin Chivers. Well, they must have been watching England, but it was playing short instead. And Chivers was there to nod it past Wilson. 2-0. 